Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. I hope everybody has a great day today with their families and friends. Family and friends. And uh, yeah, hope everybody has a lot, a lot of good things to eat. It has decent weather. Um, today, like I said, it's Thursday, November 24th. Uh, currently it's 45 degrees, high today 69, that won't be bad. Uh, no chance of rain, 57% humidity, wind is at 1 mile per hour, and air quality is 57, that's moderate. So, decent day so far. I, I thought there was supposed to be a chance of rain or something, but maybe that's in a different area that I was hearing about. But, uh, so what are y'all having for dinner today? I'm fixing, um, I'm putting the uh, turkey breast in the crock pot because it's so good that way and so tender and juicy. And um, big stuffing. We bought some big old baked potatoes. I mean, uh, bought some big old uh, sweet potatoes. Fixing those, gonna bake those. And um, what did I say stuffing, that. Deviled eggs. They're expensive this year. Um, green beans, gravy, cranberry sauce. I think that's it. Pretty sure that's it. And then we got a sweet potato pie for dessert. So, yummy. All right, there'll be a grocery outlet haul today from several days ago, so check that out. We try to go there at least once a week because they get so many items in all the time. You just never know. And you could, you could, in a week's time, if you don't watch it, you could, if it's a really good item, you could totally miss out. They might have got it in and it'd be gone and everything. So we like to check with them uh, at least once a week. And uh, of course, we found some crazy good prices. I think I hear something. Oh, okay. Kitty's up. I was looking for her this morning and she was in the closet again. I don't know. I don't know why she likes it in there, but she does. Uh, she's found, made her a little place. Uh, some, uh, I think a hoodie or something had fallen down, and she's made her a little place on it. So just leave it for her to, to sleep on when she wants. Uh, she likes making like a little nest, it looks like almost, or something. Okay. Uh, what's for dinner? Last night we tried out those ballpark. Uh, hamburger patties they were uh beef and onion and they were good they were really good and we had tater tots but it can't compare to the uh chuck the ground chuck that i use and make them you know myself the hamburger patties especially if it's black angus so so we liked them logan liked them a lot you know and and they were good like, don't get me wrong they were good but you know we we were like hmm, can't compare to my other one you know so but they're convenient you know they were you, i cooked them just right from frozen and that you know fried them and uh you know it was it was great really but i think we're spoiled on my regular burgers that i make is what it is <laughs> uh, but i would recommend those i would i would give those a good Let's say four, four and a half out of five. Yeah, they're they're really good. Um, five ninety nine for six patties. You know, you can't really beat that. That's about a buck a piece. Um, let me get this thing going. Here's just a odd a picture. I was thinking about using this for my thumbnail, but I think I found one that looks better. Uh, <laughs> it's a big turkey. Um, what else did I have here? Uh, okay, of course, yeah. I, th I wrote down turkey stuffing, sweet potatoes, green beans, gravy, cranberry sauce, and double eggs. Okay, I wrote it down, so I guess I got it right. Um, oh, and by the way, overnight, I made it to 4K, everybody. Um, I don't think I have that thing down here. I, I did a uh, community post, uh, but I want to thank everybody um, all my friends in our community 
Thank you very much for your great support. Um, I was hoping that this would happen, you know, uh, on Thanksgiving, and it did. So that's just great, and I really appreciate it very much. Uh, I, I mean, I really care and love for love every one of you. I really do. And uh, so it couldn't happen on a better day. Thanksgiving Day. All right. One morning I might do one of these. I don't eat much uh, oatmeal though. One morning I might try one of these because I got several more. Logan tried it already and he said it was fantastic and it's good for you too. So anyway, today's tidbits. I don't know what nice news. Nice news should have something today still. Uh, large cranes migrate over Chicago as weather cools. Look at those. I'd like to see those flying. Uh, Chicago's witnessing the migration of massive sandhill cranes now. The birds, which are three to four feet tall, are moving in units with 500 plus cranes in each unit. Oh my gosh. Experts say that the sudden migration is being caused by the recent cold front that came amid warm November temperatures. Residents said the cranes are making loud noises as they fly. Honking, I guess, like kind of like geese maybe honking so and then deputies rescue 81 year old man from icy creek in missouri last thursday an 81 year old man was pulled from an icy creek the man according to the clay county sheriff's office had unintentionally driven off missouri highway 33 over a small embankment and into the creek. On November 17, the afternoon temperatures was 37 degrees. Luckily, deputies were able to bring the man to safety on the creek's banks. Thank goodness. Is this the last one? And it just this one is just what was the weather on the first Thanksgiving? The very first Thanksgiving feast is believed to have been held by the pilgrims of Plymouth Colony in 1621. It was not celebrated on the last Thursday of, of November, but probably in September or October. The day is believed to have been graced with sunny weather with temperatures in the mid to low 60s. Okay. That burger does look good. That's some Colby Jack cheese on it too. Them tater tots are really good from Kroger. If y'all have never, if y'all have a Kroger and, or have an affiliate store that, you, that has Kroger products, Try their tater tots sometimes. Sometimes they're really, really good. They have a little bit of an onion uh, flavor to them. Okay, let's see what uh, nice news looks like. Okay, this is. Uh, the 2022 Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, what to expect, how to watch, and more. I think it's probably already on. I'm not for sure. The iconic Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade has sparked joy for nearly a century, serving as the perfect accompaniment for a holiday gathering. Today, after two years of modified celebrations due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the festivities will return in full force, airing live at 9 a.m. Oh, yeah, so it's... I'll be on still at least. The historic parade has something for everyone, including larger than life balloons, majestic floats, cheery marching bands, celebrity performances, and the famous Radio City Rockettes. Okay, Mr. Thanksgiving has served free holiday dinner to thousands for more than 50 years. Wow. Look at that. Meet Mr. Thanksgiving, the man. What's doing that for? The man taking friend, friends giving to another level. Bob Vogelbaugh has fed thousands with free Thanksgiving dinners for more than 50 years. The event started in 1970 when Vogelbaugh, former Illinois grocery store owner, invited customers who were going to spend the holiday alone to dinner. It's just a Thanksgiving gathering of friends and people you don't know, and some people have become friends through this over the years. 
He told ABC News of the tradition, which began as a small gathering in his store and has grown to fill an entire mall food court. People are so happy and gracious and they're thankful. Last year, Vogelbaugh served more than 3,200 people with the help of hundreds of volunteers who distributed a whopping 2,500 pounds of turkey and 3,500 pieces of pie. I wish there was more community dinners for people to go to, Vogelbaugh said. He added, it's a wonderful thing. And it looks like it cost him $12,876. Oh my gosh. Mr. Thanksgiving, annual community dinner. Wow. Okay, the animal sanctuary offering turkey cuddles for Thanksgiving. Um, this farm has a different type of turkey celebration in mind for Thanksgiving. The Gentle Barn Animal Sanctuary, Animal Sanctuary, which has rescued about 200 animals since it started in 1999, encourages visitors to cuddle with turkeys to mark the holiday. The annual tradition called Gentle Thanksgiving first came about after founder Ellie Locks rescued a female turkey in 2002 that later fell asleep in her lap. <laughs> I was singing her little songs and telling her how beautiful she was, and it was just a special moment, Lax told the Washington Post. Through gentle Thanksgiving, she hopes her guests will get to experience a moment like that themselves. Attendees of the popular event, there was a line of the 100, 100 people the first year she hosted it, can tour the farm, enjoy pie and cider, and most importantly, cuddle and feed the turkeys. In addition to the original Santa Clarita, California location, General Barn is expected to expand it to Missouri and Tennessee. They're living their best lives, Locke said of the animals. The male turkeys love to strut and show off, and the female turkeys love to relax in our laps. A lot of people don't expect such sweetness from a turkey. They'll be in tears when they visit. Aww. Well, those are some lucky turkeys. <laughs> you know? All right, everybody, that's it for today's tidbits and for nice news and that'll be it for morning coffee break this morning i hope you all enjoyed it and i hope you'll have a great thanksgiving if you did enjoy it i hope you'll press the like button also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out everybody have a great day maybe you'll hear that dinner bell later on <laughs> i gotta get started i got a lot of things to make I don't know if I might jazz up the stuffing a little bit. I like to do that. Bake it and stuff. Put some onions and stuff in it. We'll see. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great one. And we'll see you later on. Check out the grocery outlet hall later. Bye, everyone. And God bless.